Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Hyperledger Bezu instance in the Settlement BPass platform. But before we do that, let's understand a little bit of what Hyperledger Bezu is. So Hyperledger Bezu is just one of the projects that are within the Hyperledger umbrella of different types of frameworks and tools uh, that are specifically catered towards enterprise applications of blockchains. Um, and so Hyperledger is unique in this umbrella because it is the uh, EVM compatible framework to use. So it's basically a private instance of Ethereum. And this is interesting because a lot of different blockchains that are already out there are also EVM compatible. So if you build on an EVM compatible blockchain, then it makes it a lot easier to interoperate with other EVM compatible blockchains. So that allows you as an enterprise to potentially build your own private instance uh, for your application specifically, but maybe down the line, you could add uh, interoperability with the Ethereum mainnet or with any of the other blockchains that are compatible with the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, and so the Hyperledger Bezu kind of architecture is very uh, modular in the sense that you can use many different types of consensus mechanisms within your uh, instance of Hyperledger Bezu. So inside Hyperledger Bezu, it contains all the things that the Ethereum network sort of needs in order to be compatible with it. Um, so it has storage capabilities, it has the Ethereum core kind of things that it has to do, and as well networking for a peer-to-peer -peer node discovery. Um, but so inside this consensus box, you'll see that there's three different types of consensus. There's the proof of work, ether mining. So you could uh, use the old Ethereum proof of work uh, hashing algorithm if you wanted to. You could also use two other proof of authority uh, consensus mechanisms. One is called CLEEK and one is called IBFT2. BFT stands for Byz Byzantine Fault Tolerance, which is important for any blockchain to have um, in order to uh, come to consensus. Um, but so IBFT2 is the one that we use at Settlement. So whenever you deploy a instance with Hyperledger Bezu, then that's the consensus mechanism that you're going to get. Um, and so there are a bunch of different companies that have been shown to be using Hyperledger Bezu. So if you go to the Hyperledger website, you can see uh, some examples there, including these companies um, that have been using Hyperledger Bezu. So there you go. Now let's check it out. How do we deploy it on the Settlement BPass? All right. So we're here on the Settlement BPass platform. Now let's try and spin up a Hyperledger Bezu network and nodes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to build up or uh, spin up the network. So we're going to go here to blockchain networks and we're going to click here at the top right, add a blockchain network. We're going to click Hyperledger Bezu. We'll confirm it. Hyperledger Bezu is a permission network uh, on the, in the, in the platform. So we're going to confirm. We're going to give it a name, say Bezu. Uh, it's going to ask us to already create a node. So I'm just going to call it Bezu node. And I'm going to choose a deployment plan. So I'm going to use a shared one. And I'm going to go to Brussels as that's the closest one to me. And I'll select a resource pack. It gives me extra options in case I want to have any more configuration to customize my blockchain uh, network to see how it runs, etc. And then I'll click confirm. Luckily, I've already deployed one here. So we can open it up and we can see all the information that we would usually see um, in the various tools that you would have on the Settlement BPass platform. So we have our uh, faucet wallet access here. So we have the address. We can access that to give any sort of Bezu Ethereum so people can make transactions. Uh, we can see who are the uh, participants who are part of this network. So we can add organizations or invite them to our consortium. We can see our deployment logs uh, in order to uh, debug anything or troubleshoot any problems that we that may occur. Um, so that's how we start up a node. We get all this type of great information, all helpful for developers and for uh, troubleshooting. Now we can go to nodes. Let's say we want to create another node. We would already have one running. Um, but if we want to create another one, we would just click add a blockchain node. We would select the network that we wanted to, press continue. We would add the details. Uh, that we want. We can have a validating or a non-validating. Um, we have this little uh, warning for us in a sort of 
Byzantine fault tolerance consensus network, we need at least four validator nodes for it to run. So we can have uh, a validator or a non-validating one. Non-validator just means that it keeps up and stores information or the data that's being processed while a validating one is validating those transactions that are being created. So let's say we want to create another validating one then we choose our deployment plan and then we would click confirm. And of course, I have already deployed these here. So we have a validator node here right now it's paused, but we can see all of the information that we need to know about uh, our node and about um, in relation to our network. Um, so we can, uh, of course, access it in many different ways right here, the private key. Um, and we can see our deployment logs in case we need any troubleshooting uh, through that as well. Um, and so there you go. It's really that fast, really that quick um, in order to start building on Hyperledger Bezu. Um, so yeah, there you have it.